Alrighty, got some more gifted beer from one of my best friends, Chris. Thank you, Chris, for this beer and the next beer in the next video. We're two. More beer from Town Brewing Company, or Town Brewery, sorry, out of Whitby, Ontario. It's a style I haven't had in, oh geez, very, very long time. A style you don't see too, too much of. And there's fruits, so I'm expecting a pretty color. Without further ado, let's just dive into this, shall we? Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, May Bruski, from the Rushi Bruski Review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is, like I said, by the Town Brewery, gifted to me by my uh, one of my best friends, Chris. This is their Tour Billion. Tour Billion. T o u r b i l l i o n. Oh, billion, billion, tour billion. There's no i o n. It's just o n. Tour, tour billion, tour billion. Really interesting red can design here. This is a tart grisette with cherries. Four percent ABV. No listed IBUs on the very red and silver bullety can. Pretty cool can design. <clears throat> IBUs on here, none on the website, and I doubt there's any on untapped. Uh, I do not see any IBUs there either. I also forget what a grisette is. Grisette is a variety of beer originating from the uh, mining regions along the border of France and Belgium. It is a close relative of other farmhouse ales of the region, including Saisons and Beer de Gra uh, Beers de Grad. Uh, though, unlike those beers which were Prevalent among agricultural workers, grisettes were consumed primarily by miners. So it's a miner beer. Uh, the name, which means little gray one, may come from the name of local gray colored stone or from the gray uh, frocks worn by the women who served the beer in local pubs. It's a low ABV beer that is light in body with noticeable tartness similar to other farmhouse ales and in some ways to the Goza <clears throat> beers of Germany. Goza a little salty. As of 2016, only one Belgian brewery is still making the style in the traditional manner, though the American craft brewing industry has started producing several varieties, often working from historically researched recipes. Okay, so it's a type of farmhouse ale uh, beer, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited. Again, I haven't had a grisette in a very long time, so without further ado, crack this bad boy open. We've got our Beer 101 pint glass here. This is the white version. I have the black version back at uh, back at the college. Also, this one is a thicker type of glass. See, it's, it's got a little bit more weight to it. Looking at the beer, it is a fairly like light rosé, peachy kind of color. Pretty interesting. Not as dark as I thought it was going to be, but still a pretty interesting color. Kind of looks almost like a rosé champagne or, or, you know, something like that. Lightly, lightly, lightly pinkish or rosé-ish kind of head on top. A little bit of haze. Not overly clear, but not uh, not overly hazy either. Pretty excited. Let's give it a smell. <clears throat> on the nose. On the nose. This is what? Tart grisette with cherries. Okay. It is definitely tart. A little bit of white grape. Mm, slight hint of cherries in the back there. A little bit of almost like a lemon or a lemon grassy note. Yeah, tart, a little acidic. Lemon grassy. Light cherries and white grape. Not really funky. Not really. Give it a little swirl, agitation, fun stuff. There's more of that tart, sour cherryness. Let's dive in. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, tour, tour, tour billin. Tour billin. That's what I'm calling it. That's how I'm going to pronounce it. Um, very refreshing. It is kind of similar to almost like a um, like a sparkling wine kind of esque uh, experience just because one the flavors are they're they're a little on the lower end of intensity but it is so crisp it is just undeniably clean of a flavor even cleaner than any like lager really 
um, the cherries add that extra bit of sweet fruitiness to it. Not as tart or acidic as I thought it was going to be, uh, basing it off of the nose. But damn, it is it is clean, it is crisp, it's lightly sweetened, or or light, light, lightly sweet, sorry. Um, and it's uh, it is crisp. That is that's pretty good. I'm excited. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Let's keep on drinking and cheers, Chris. Thank you. Mm hmm that is damn good it is it is very low low intensity flavor right in the beginning and right at the end but right in that middle portion that's where the cherries really shine not not coming out out, out at you overly uh, sweet like a cherry juice closer to like a um, almost like a sparkling water with flavor like with flavoring but does not have that awkwardly sweet almost medicinally sweet sort of note this is a very true um a, a, a cherry note it doesn't taste artificial at all it is very true very natural and comes up sweet not artificial tasting not cloningly sweet not out of place sweet this is just a beautiful beautiful drink it's like if you made almost like a sparkling beverage and then added just added like pure like cherries and the cherry like real cherry juice per se this is damn good I can definitely see why this uh, style of beer was, is, is probably great for miners because I've never done mining, but from my very, very little knowledge of or whatnot, it is a very intense job. And if you're finishing a hard ass job like that, very labor intensive, also quite dangerous, this would be a beautiful reward because it's, it's so refreshing that you just you would be you'd be extremely satisfied after after working a job like that. But damn, that is good. Again, a little bit of lemon zest, a little, a little bit of a little bit of a, a lemon grassy note to it as well. That is a clean, beautiful, and flavorful beer. Look at on the can. It is more or less logo or not logo, but art can design. And then on the side here, you just have Torbillion Town Brewery, Tart Grisette with Cherries, 4% ABV, Brewed in Town Brewery Incorporated at 1632 Charles Street, Whitby, Ontario. That's all you get. And on the bottom, we have packaged on January 7th, 2021. Very straightforward. Nothing crazy, just a sticker label, uh, so not a ton of information. But when you get over to the, get over to the website, Town Brewery, dot ca you go to the beer section and you will find tour billing um you got a price we're gonna get to that in just a hot minute but we do have a uh, a short and sweet description I really do like this and it reads super duper charming light pink burnt orange rose wine type color exactly with a super fluff trademark pending white head cute Using a fairly light-handed amount of cherry, it balances extremely well with the light Saison Grisette flavor. The tartness adds some something of a lemon-type vibe, super dry, and ultimately refreshing. 4%. This is pretty fantastic. I'm a big fan of this beer. One, because it's overly refreshing. Two, because it's low ABV. Three, it is beautifully flavored where it's not overly intense and not under and not like underperforming at all. It is just a, 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 a crispy, refreshing, flavorful beverage that is god damn, it puts a smile on your face and you're just ooh, you are good to go. It's not bloating by any means, it's light, it's dry. I love that dryness of it. It is just damn. Damn, this is really good. This, if 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 I'm thinking like to towards summer, I'm thinking those you know here in Ontario sometimes or a lot of the time. Now we get those days or those weeks even where it's like 30 degrees outside, but then you got the humidity stacked on top and it's pushing almost like 40 degrees, and it's that blankety, sticky, dry, hu not dry, just humid air. This. 
would be a perfect beer to uh, to enjoy on one of those kind of days where it just cools you down, refreshes the fuck out of you, and gives you just a beautiful flavor profile. On Untapped, Torbillion or Tubillion with cherries has been given a 3.49 bottle caps out of five. And that's out of 116 ratings. This is damn damn good. I'm a big fan of this. Astral Price. Uh, Town Brewery is a, smart, it's a fairly, yeah, it's a bit smaller of a brewery, and a lot of their beers are more or less just like one-offs, if I'm not mistaken. This is coming in at $4.50 per single can. Do not know if that price is uh, with tax included or not. Looks like it's not shipping and tax. It will be calculated at checkout. If we go to checkout, just for shits and giggles, we're looking at about $5.09 for the beer. Five dollars and nine cents for a four percent brew. Now bear in mind it is a phenomenal brew, but that's a little that's about fairly expensive. If you're thinking of getting like a large, you know, portion of it, um I would say I would say, I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it for a large purchase. Obviously, a couple here and there would be would be a great addition to anybody's fridge. Uh, for me, I can't justify uh, a large purchase of this. Just again, my financial uh, position with being in school and not working is a uh, is is a very big factor in that. But I mean, if I was like you know make you know doing a regular job, salary paid, you know regular work, and I had some money to pick up some beers and summer was coming, I think this would be a great great addition uh, for a, for a larger. Uh, purchase per se, but well, f f 509 before shipping that's fairly pricey, but then again, you're really not being disappointed in the uh, Quality of the beer the quality is up there. So as a as a very limited limited release. Oh Hell yeah mm -hmm. And I think Grisette's or at least this one here, because I haven't had many in, in uh, my time. You don't see a lot of grisettes around. This beer right here is great for anybody, really. Uh, beer drinkers or non-beer drinkers, craft beer drinkers or non-craft beer drinkers, you know, alike. You can get behind this because it is inoffensive. It is light. It is crisp. It's a little dry, but it's flavorful, and it's just overall a beautiful, beautiful beer. I'm a big fan, and with that said, guys, choosing the final sip. Let's get ready to dreams and wrap this thing up. Town Brewery, every beer I have from you is always an adventure, and damn, I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always just a little bit blown away with, uh, with what you put out. It is, uh, some fantastic beer, and I'm so happy. Thank you, Chris, for, uh, stopping over there. Because sadly, I just don't go out that far east too, too often. But hey, solid, solid beer. Town Brewery. Tour, uh, tour, tourbillon Tart Grisette with Cherries. Ooh, fantastic. Price is a little high. But for the beer that you're getting and how wow it is, it is Fantastic, a solid, ooh, a solid eight, nine out of 10 for me. Goddamn delicious. As for presentation, again, the can designs, the can designs are always very unique. Nothing like crazy, I don't know. They're just, they're just kind of cool, but there's not a lot of information. There's a lot more just design real estate being used. Um, obviously again, you know, they are um, li limited runs. So yeah, you're not really gonna have uh, we're, gonna, we're not going to put a lot of money into having a, uh, a very descriptive uh, can design. At least they do throw on some, uh, you know, a nice uh, d uh, description about the beer on the website. So, so that's doable. But the one thing, they always throw a uh, can update on the bottom. So perfect in that uh, in that regard. So presentation, because of the lack of, lack of information, but... For what it is, for, for the kind of beer that they're putting out, not by style, but just like it's a limited, um, a solid effort still. I mean, if I was running a limited beer, I probably wouldn't put as much money into the uh, um, overall uh, like information-wise, because that's just 
more printing of, of labels and, and customization. It's just, if I don't need to, I won't. Um, but I do like how they add more or less a nice description uh, on the website. That's, that's pretty good. Website on itself looks fairly uh, fairly good. Nothing too fancy, nothing too basic. Just the right, right amount of information you'd like to see. Presentation gets a solid... And a solid 7 out of 10. Before I leave, guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beer drawing review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video or subscribe to me, Mate Bruski, that'd be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Bruski. And like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Well, goddamn, it's still too cold out to really get in the summer mood, but this one is definitely priming me for summertime. Cheers.